The Leafs win yet another one, this time in a little bit more different fashion than we're used to seeing. The first shootout of the year for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but they pull this one out 2-1 over the Winnipeg Jets and win both games in Winnipeg. A nice three-point gap there. Obviously, they got a point today, today with the shootout, unfortunately, but great job coming into the, the first game. You're one point up on the Jets. You leave Winnipeg up four with the game in hand. So a great job by the Leafs going in there into Winnipeg with two very important games and taking away four out of a possible four points. Great job all around. The Leafs point streak continues. I think they're at seven games or six games. I think they're five, what, 5 0 and one or 6 0 and one in the last six or seven games. They've been unbelievable lately after that awful stretch. They've put a really good stretch together. And you got to give credit to Jack Campbell. This guy has been unbelievable. No matter if he's 100% healthy or not, he does not look like he's missed a beat. And he is now 8-0-0 on the season. This guy has not lost yet. He has been feeling so damn good out there. And he's been playing some really good hockey. And the Leafs, for the most part, played a good game in front of him. There were a few instances there in that third period that was a little tough, but he had to make some big time saves. But as I've said in so many videos, that's what great goaltenders do. When, you know, they might not face the high quality chances for the most part of the game, but when they need to make a big stop for your team, or if, or in Jack Campbell's case, like a three minute stretch of big save after big save after big save, great goalies find a way to make those stops. And that's exactly what he did in that stretch in that third period to keep the game tied, get into overtime, at least get a power play in overtime, start peppering Hellebuck with shots. He makes tons of big saves. And you get to the shootout, and Connor Dubois and Shifley do not score on Campbell. And the old man, Jason Spezza, finds a way to score. But let's break this game down right from the start, all right? First period, nothing doing. Back and forth game, really no crazy chances in the first period. And then we go into the break. So it's a 0-0 game. I don't know why I was going with the 1-4. It's a 0-0 game after one period of play. We go into the second period and 5-16 in. You always hear, even when you're playing as a young kid, just get the puck on the net. You never know what can happen. Travis Dermott at the point fires a shot on. Must have been a screen in front or guys crossing in front of Connor Hellebuck because it beats him. And into the back of the net, Travis Dermott scores, assisted by Zach Bogosian and Jason Spezza. What a trio right there to put the Leafs up 1-0. It's crazy. You don't score in the first. You don't score another goal the rest of the game. And who scores your shootout winner? Spezza. Who scores your, your, your one goal in the in, in regular time, Travis Dermott. And who gets the assist? Bogosian. You would never see that coming. But a great job by the Leafs doing a job there. And Andrew Kopp scores 11.50 into the second period to tie the game at one goal apiece. And it felt like in that period, especially around that time they scored the goal, it was coming. It felt like the Leafs were giving up quite a few offensive rushes, quite a few two-on-ones. I think it was at least two in the last in, the, in that two-minute stretch before Kopp got the two-on-one and scored. And uh, But the Leafs, after that goal, they tightened up. They didn't kind of sit back, relax, and allow the, you know, the, the Jets to kind of build momentum. The Leafs countered. They went right back on the offense, and that's what great teams do. They don't allow a goal rattle you, and that was a great job because you go into the third period. Again, lots of chances on both sides. Both teams played a really good game today. And we go in, you know, obviously we go into overtime. Both goalies have played stellar. Both goalies have had to make 10 bell saves to keep their teams in it. Obviously in overtime, nobody scores. The Leafs still can't score on a power play. Even if it's four on three, they can't score a power play goal apparently. And we go to the shootout and Jason Spezza absolutely waits out Connor Hellebuck. The vet being as patient as can be, goes in, goes to the backhand. Hellebuck goes, you know, fake, goes to his fake backhand. Spezza goes back to the forehand, and Hellebuck obviously stretches that pad out, but there's a little bit of spot between the pad and the net, and Spets is like, well, he can't make the save. So I'm just going to take my time and slide right in between there, and he does, and he, the Leafs take the 1-0 lead there in the shootout. Then Dubois comes down. He, 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 I think he missed the net completely. All right, Matthews can win it. He misses the net. Okay, Shifley, Campbell makes the stop. It's game. I don't even know if it hit the net. No matter what, it doesn't go in. And it, the Leafs win this one. 2-1 in the shootout. Jack Campbell, a goal on 32 shots against. You didn't think this guy's numbers could get better, right? He had a 940-something save percentage coming into the game today. He has a goal on 32. That's just going to go up. 
save percentage go up, goals against average is going down. I didn't think it was possible with the numbers that he's putting up, but Jack Campbell, he's making big saves in key moments. You know, Freddie and, and, and well, I can't say Hutchinson because he didn't, hasn't played enough, but, you know, Frederick Anderson was not doing that. And there's nothing against Freddie. Clearly there's something going on with him. So get him off the ice and, and get him some treatment, whether it's physical or mental. I don't know what it is. But no matter what, he's taking some time off basically right now. But for Jack Campbell, not only is this guy an, a, a really nice dude, he's an incredible goalie. And you see how this team gravitates towards him, right? You see how this Leaf squad loves playing with this guy. You know, he makes a big stop. He taps his teammates on the pads. Like, hey, good job, fellas. Even though they really didn't do anything, they're just kind of standing there. Hey, how's it going, boys? Like, just a great guy all around. And you see when he gets the shootout victory, everyone's going over, kind of giving him a hollow hug, you know? You didn't see one guy, right? Just kind of go, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, nice job. Wayne Simmons goes up there and has a hey, big fella, gives him a giant hug. Like, you, you don't see that stuff too often. And everyone gravitates towards him. He's, he's playing great hockey. The Leafs are playing great hockey. With the win today, they're now 24-10-3 on the year. I mean, they're, they're, they're playing well against good teams, right? You look at the Edmonton Oilers, right? They won the game in overtime. They lost the game in overtime. But you kind of split points. You're kind of... Staying packed there, and then you go to Winnipeg, a team who was one point behind you, and you win both games in Winnipeg. Obviously, no fans, and that does play a factor when you're on the road, but same goes when the Leafs are at home, right? So there's a big difference there as well. This team is different. You guys, you guys see all of the TikTok, you know, built different and all that, all that nonsense. The Leafs team feels to me that they are built different, right? And obviously, with the trade deadline just a week and a half away, you know, what's Kyle Dubas got up his sleeve? We heard not too long ago that Kyle Dubas was not opposed to trading away young players to get established guys now, more or less rental players. And with that being said, where do the Leafs go? You saw what Montreal got, got for a guy like Eric Stahl. So if that's the market, the Leafs can, they can damn well do this. They can damn well go out there and get themselves a top six guy. But is Galchenyuk, you know, is he that guy? Is, is he a guy that can be on that second line wing? I don't know. Didn't see him a whole lot out there today. Uh, again, this was, this was a sound defensive performance from both teams, and also great goaltending as well. There was not a, there was not a lot of chances on either side. They had some zone. There were times where t each team had zone time, but not a lot of quality opportunities until like you know little spurts in the game. But um, again, uh, the Leafs play a great game. Jets played a great game. As I've always said in these videos, and by the way, if you're still here watching, I, I applaud. The shootout is the worst thing in hockey. I think it's a terrible way to finish a hockey game. Because what what a game it was today with the Leafs and Jets. And he ended in a shootout. I, I just, I, as much as the Leafs won it, I just don't think it's a great way to end a hockey game. Per my personal take, you guys could have a totally different, ta totally different take about it, but that's just my opinion, all right? So you know what, guys? Uh, before I wrap it up, next Leaf game is on Sunday. On Sunday in Calgary, the 9 o'clock puck drop. Oh, my God, another late night for Leaf fans. 9 p.m. puck drop there as the Buds look to continue their point streak, look to win their third straight game, and Calgary's fighting for that playoff spot. So you damn well know they're going to come out flying. Absolutely guns a-blazing. Can the Leafs fend them off on the road? We'll have to wait and see. That happens on, uh, on, on Sunday night. They play Monday against Calgary as well. It's a 9.30 uh, puck drop there. So back-to-back -back games on back-to-back -back nights for the Calgary Flames starting on Sunday at 9 p.m. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the game there this evening because, damn, that was an entertaining hockey game. Smack that like button. Do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video? Thoughts on the game? Would you like, would you not like from today's game? All right, what'd you think of Jack Campbell? What'd you think of Dermott's goal? What'd you think of the team's play overall? Let me know in the comments, guys. Twitter is down below for myself as well. Follow up, send me a DM, do that great stuff. The Instagram page is down below. Follow up there if you have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, Jay's edition, tomorrow uh, evening. Obviously, the game will finish in the evening. I'm guessing four or five o'clock it'll be finishing. As the Jays take on the Yankees in game two of the three games set, Corey Kluber on the mound for the Yankees and Ross Stripling on the mound for the Blue Jays in game two. Two, looking to go 2-0 and, oh, and win the series against the Yankees. And as for the Raptors, their next contest is on Monday as, as they take on the Washington Wizards uh, at Amelie Arena. It's a 7 o'clock tip-off there. As for the Leafs, as I've mentioned, their next contest is on Sunday night. 9 p.m. puck drop uh, in Calgary, taking on the Flames. Bud looking to keep their streak alive, win three in a row, just continue to feel good. And, and, and look, they had their bad spell. 
get back into the win column, and now they're feeling great again. Let's keep this train rolling, all right? So thank you so much for listening and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys then.